Okay, so products, 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 products. The number one hurdle, obstacle that stops people from taking the plunge into starting their own dropshipping business. A couple of videos ago, I spoke about the two main types of product categories that you should be considering as a beginner dropshipper. Number one is the trending products. So trending products, these are products that other dropshippers are currently selling and selling successfully. In that video, a couple of videos ago, I showed you how to find those products very quickly and very easily. They're great products to start with because they have that proven validation. However, by the time they show up on a product research tool, such as Shop Hunter, such as Dropper Spy, such as all of the dozens of other product research softwares, everybody's gonna be jumping on them, everybody's gonna be finding them, competition is gonna be super, super high. So I understand that it's not everybody's cup of tea to go down that same route. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find product category number two. These are products that are not trending, but they're still products that have a demand, products that people want to buy, but these are gonna be products that won't show up on the product research softwares that nobody has seen before and that you can deliver super, super quickly. The biggest downside to selecting these products is it requires the skill to know what your audience will buy. This is where having first-hand experience, knowledge, interest in the niche need it there's no other way around it you need it the only way you will be able to find a product and sell it successfully to an audience that nobody else has seen before is if you have an eye for it and the only way to identify those products is if you've experienced the pain point or the problem that your product is going to solve so to give you a great example you could show me 50 different pet products or 50 different golf products or 50 different triathlon products and I could tell you straight away which of those products people in those spaces are likely to buy because I have experience in those niches myself. I have gone through the same pain points. I know what people are willing to pay and I know how valuable it will be to solve those problems those products solved. But if you showed me 50 products in the makeup niche, I wouldn't have a clue of which products were more eye grabbing or attention grabbing than the others. Hopefully that point is clear. That's super, super important that you understand that. So if there's any questions or you need anything clarifying, make sure you comment down below. I will see it and I will respond to you. What I'm gonna show you today is how to find products in a niche that people want to buy, but there's no proven validation behind these products. The validation comes from yourself. So before we jump into these products, I'm gonna preface this by saying you need to niche down. When I say niche, I don't mean pick pets. Pets is not a niche, it's too broad. It's millions and millions of people. Hey, just real quick, sorry to interrupt the video. I promise this won't take more than 30 seconds of your time. I just wanna let you know about a mentorship, a one-to-one -one mentorship program that I currently have slots open and available to get started right away. If you are interested in working with myself on a one-to-one -one basis, somebody to help you through the entire process of finding and selecting a niche and products, building a Shopify store, sourcing original quality ad content, and then jumping on a call and launching those ads together, then what you need to do is book on a Google week with myself as soon as possible. Once all slots are gone, applications will close. So if you are looking for some one-to-one -one help, somebody to hold your hand for the entire process and help you avoid those common mistakes, those common costly, timely and financially mistakes that most people make, then what you need to do is head below the video description of this video, click this mentorship link. It's gonna take you to a page that looks something like this. What it is, is it's half a dozen questions. It takes no more than two minutes to fill out. It's an opportunity for me to get to know where you are now, where you want to be with my help after one, two or three months time. And if you have a realistic goal that I am 100% confident I can help you achieve, it will take you through to my calendar where you'll be able to book a time and date for me and you to jump on a call and have a chat in person. Hopefully see you there. Dogs is not a niche. That's still too broad. It's millions and millions of people, but certain dog breeds is 
We live in a day and age now where there's so many potential distractions. In the space of a couple of minutes, somebody could get a phone call, they could get a WhatsApp message, they could get a text message, they could get a notification from an app. They might get bored, they might be scrolling through Facebook or TikTok or X or Twitter or Pinterest. Then there's the real world distractions that somebody in the real world might actually talk to them. There's so many different things that could take somebody's attention away from your ad creative. What you are doing with your creative is trying to win somebody's attention and you're much more likely to do that by having a product that when they see that product, they think that product is made for me. That product is speaking to me. If I was going to manufacture a product myself to make my life easier, this would be the product. The bigger the connection to the audience, to your ideal customer, the much more likely they are to take notice of it and remember it, or better yet, click the ad, go to your website and buy it. <laughs> so for example, let me give, the typical person who watches my videos is from the UK, right? So let me give you an example. So you're scrolling through social media and you see two ads on your newsfeed and it's about drop shipping. You have one ad about drop shipping that says, I will show you how to make a successful drop shipping store. And then you have ad number two that says, if you're male, so most people who watch my videos are male. So then ad number two is, if you're a male living in the UK, then let us show you how to create a successful dropshipping store that sources products from the UK. That second ad is much more likely to land and resonate with you because it's more specific. So a massive, massive issue or problem or hurdle that I see people fall over at is they try and go too broad. They try and sell a generic product to millions of people where in reality they'd be much better off having a specific product made for a specific person or problem and advertising it in that sense. So let's jump into it. Uh, first things first, I'm based in the UK. I'm going to filter by products that are also in the UK. So let's search by products. The beauty of this platform is that these are products that are already based in the UK that somebody has already paid to get here and they're not products that are on AliExpress, which means when you sell and build a store around these products, you haven't got to be competing against the entire globe because that is a hurdle that you come up against. In traditional trending products, drop shipping, you're competing against the entire world. The entire world can access product research softwares. The entire world can access products and suppliers on AliExpress. But when you are selling products from a supplier that nobody knows who they are, it becomes a whole lot more difficult for them to compete with you. So what I'm gonna do is just scroll through and have a look at what catches my eye. So straight away, you'll see products like this multi-gym, which you just couldn't drop ship from China. Tents, we've got cutlery and pans, we've got toilet roll, if we wanna drop ship toilet roll. We've got electric scooters, which probably missed the trend by now. We've got litter pickers. And these are pretty cool. They're pretty relevant for this time of year. Again, it's not a typical AliExpress Chinese cheap piece of rubbish that every man and his dog is going to be trying to drop ship. Straight away, in fact, I can see one, two, three, four, five really good outdoor activities or toys for children, which is perfect because your typical buyer on Facebook will be a grandparent who want to spoil their grandkids. Grandkids, with the weather being nice here in the UK, are spending a lot more time outdoors. Here's one, two, three, four, five outdoor toys that could be potential products that you drop ship. The only potential problem may be the price. Getting somebody to spend, say, £100 on the bounce the first time they see a product could be an issue. But with things like Klarna, you could have that on your site and all of a sudden everything becomes a lot more affordable. So there's a great opportunity straight away, I would say, of having an outdoor toy shop for children, selling products like trampolines, these outdoor electric vehicles, soft play. These are products that will instantly legitimize your business because they're proper products, if you know what I mean by that. They're not cheap $10 products from China. The other advantage to, to having a supplier that isn't AliExpress is that you can bundle things together to again, to legitimize your business and sweeten the deal. So for example, if we did go down the route of starting an outdoor kids toy brand, we could find a product to sweeten a deal and bundle the offer. So here we have these chocolate tools, a 500 gram pouch. So on your website, you could say with every purchase over X amount, get a free pack of chocolates. I mean, that's a pretty naff upsell actually. We could chuck in a popcorn maker instead. 
you get the gist. It doesn't have to be this exact product, but by having a supplier outside of AliExpress, it makes that a lot easier. And because you're selling products that are typically of higher quality with higher profit margins, chucking in a popcorn maker for 15 quid, you know, in the eyes of a consumer, that's a 30, 40, 50 pound freebie that to you doesn't make much difference on your bottom line. Let's keep scrolling through then to see what else um, captures our attention. We've got air fryers too. I mean, we've missed the boat on air fryers. They got really, really popular about a, about a year ago. But because they're already brought into this country, you know that whoever's brought them in has taken care of things like making sure they're compliant with the correct safety certifications. You can drop ship sofa beds, these electric tilting chairs for elderly people. It's all about knowing and having an interest and knowledge of the niche so that these products will stick out to you themselves. You haven't got to do much research behind them. So for example, these riser and recliner chairs, in my mind, I thought they were a lot more expensive than that. So you could do a bit of research, check Google Trends, see what demand is like. And if you find that the going rate for one of these things is, I don't know, five, 600 pounds, maybe even a thousand pounds, then potentially there's an opportunity there to go in and undercut people. But until you do that research and check, it's, it's gonna be difficult to say. So let's keep going and see what else we can find. So there's another outdoor toy here, which we could add, and that's only 33 pounds, so it hasn't got to be super expensive products if you're worried about that side of things. Eye conditioners, which again, we paid, I think it was 450, was it 550? About 500 pounds for our air conditioner for our house. Here, you can buy it for 186, that will be plus fat, so that takes it to just over 200, but you could definitely sell that for minimum 300, probably more like 350, 400. Another outdoor toy here for 24 pounds. So drop shipping from a local country doesn't always mean super expensive products where there's no profit margin. You've just got to find the right supplier and, that, and finding the right supplier isn't that difficult either. A quick Google search, spending 20 minutes, half an hour on Google and just put UK wholesale drop shipping or US wholesale drop shipping. I'm sure you'll be able to find some examples. I'm not going to list out all the examples and all the guys I use, but they are out there and they're relatively easy to find as well. Just scrolling through, we actually have one of these for my son and we paid, it was definitely over a hundred pounds. I think it might have been, is it 140 or 120? And I could have bought it here for 80 pounds plus that without even realizing. So what's really good again about finding supplies like this outside of AliExpress is that you're selling legit products, not cheap Chinese products that people have seen dozens of times beforehand on Facebook from other dropshippers. And so with that being said then guys, I'm gonna stop the video there. Um, I really hope that my points have come across in this video. Sometimes I'm so excited about something that I want to explain that I trip over myself and I don't actually put the point across very clearly. So if there's any follow-up questions at all, leave them down below, I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, before you go, one final quick message, if you are interested in that mentorship one-to-one -one program um, to work with myself, picking a product from a local supplier like these guys, I can introduce you to them. I can help you get set up, get a store built for you, and um, get some creatives made. We'll hop on calls throughout the month. We'll get the campaigns all set up on a one-to-one -one together. Basically somebody just to hold your hand for the entire process and help you avoid those common mistakes that most people make. Um, if that sounds of interest to you, just check out the mentorship link in the video description above, <laughs> below this video. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.